Hello. Starting a couple minutes early here. I'm just going to wait, see if anyone uh, comes on in. Enjoy the view until then. There's the view. That's better. as it would look if you were plummeting towards Penn Square without a parachute, or with a parachute, I guess. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming. We're gonna talk a little bit we're going to look at some aerials from the 1920s and 30s and we're going to compare them to views of today and see what's still around, to see what's not, see what got replaced by newer construction or parking lots. It's 8.30, I'll give it another minute, and then I'm just going to jump right in. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing tonight? It's Thursday. One more day until Friday. Then the week's over. Thank goodness. All right. Well, this is... A panoramic shot I took with my drone and as always if anyone has any questions put them in the live chat say whatever you want ask whatever you want I will do my best to answer and uh, yeah so this is Reading proper in 2023 just a few weeks ago Looking north, looking east, looking south, and looking west. But we will come back to this. Before I even start showing you any aerials, I want to take a second to explain um, what they are and how they were produced. Uh, so we're going to be looking at the J. Victor Dallin uh, aerials. J. Victor Dallin was a pilot. Uh, he was actually a World War I vet who was in the, Air, the Royal Air Force, uh, I think, for England. And after the war was over, he came to America and settled in the Delaware Valley in, around Philly and started this company that he flew planes and had photographers take all sorts of aerial images of the entire region, mostly Philly. Um, we've got a nice chunk of aerials out here in Reading so that we get to enjoy today. And these are the dudes. The J. Victor Dallin is all the way on the left here. You can see him. It's a little, little pixelated. And then I guess these are his photographers. If you check out these, these cameras are kind of nuts. They, they were a little bit cumbersome back then, I guess. But uh, they took some beautiful high-res images that we're going to check out. So, yeah, he had this company. He basically, I guess, sold the images back to businesses. And they are all searchable. <laughs> hey, Organic Spaceship, a.k.a. Josh. How's it going? Um, these are all searchable. I will drop a link to where you can view these once I publish this video live. Well, once I publish this video on the uh, channel. So everything I talk about, I'll have linked up. You can check it out. These are fun to just look at. Like I can just spend time browsing these, which is what we're going to do basically. Um, so let's start uh, with the oldest I could find was from 1924 of downtown Reading. It's looking from the southwest up to the northeast. And 
we will get our bearings here in a hot second. All right, whoa. So I'm just gonna start off, start us off at Penn Square. Seems like, seems like an easy place to adjust ourselves here. So the north side looks pretty much the same, but the south side is very different. So let's just, I like to zoom in on these and like try to read the marketing on the, the sides of the buildings. I think we should go back to that. These big, cool painted billboards that were on the sides of, a lot of the times they just told you what, what was there. So we have Whitner's here. All of this, half of this south side of Penn Street, the southwest side is uh, of Penn Square is now the sand, is that Santander right there? That big, big office building. Um, Whitner's was torn down, I want to say in the early 2000s, I think. Um, yeah, all this was torn down to create more office space, but the Colonial Trust is still there. That's one of my favorites. And then the cool thing about this is this is 1924, not long. Hey, Adam, what's up? Hey, guys. How is everybody? Uh, is right next to the Colonial Trust building is the old Federal Inn. So the Federal Inn was built in the 1700s. <laughs> and... Um, it was replaced by the large bank structure. You can kind of see, actually, I have a better. It was replaced by this guy, the Farmers National Bank Building in 1925. So this was just before it got torn down. Um, but you can tell it was a three-story, two-story uh, old structure, but the history of that, which there is a marker down there in front of the Farmers Trust Bank building that George Washington spent a night in that building that we're looking at in um, 1794. So there you have it. George Washington stayed on Penn Square. Um, this building's still here. This building's still here. And this building is still here. I think you guys can see my mouse this time. No, can you? Oh, yeah, you can. Cool. This building, actually, the facade is different, but it is the same structure. The facade was actually taken to put on this building from North Fish Street. I think it, I think it might have been this right behind the Colonial Trust. It was the Reading News. It was the Reading News, yeah. I mean... You can tell it's not the same facade, but it's actually the building that's apparently falling apart because they've had to gate it all off. There was allegedly debris <laughs> falling off the building and into the courtyard between the um, what is now Alvernia's college town building. It was CNA. It was falling. In it. So that was dangerous and not a good thing. But uh but yeah, it's these are all the same, the same structures as 19, but well, besides farmers, back to 1925. So, all right. And then all of this, you just saw that was the college town. This whole, whole massive block got taken. Um, and that was in the 70s when that CNA building was built. I believe it was the 1970s when they raised all these, probably when they, well, they tore mostly everything else down in the, yeah, the early 70s. In the name of redevelopment. Okay, so let's go, let's just jump down to the south side. You can see the American house here, that's on the 400 block, but that's still the same. These are all the same up until, like I said, Whitner's Zabel, Zabel Furniture Co. That was apparently a business in there in 1924. So just for reference, I'll show you this block now. That would be this block. And this is, yes, yeah, Santander. Um, 
basically has the complete half where all of these were. And you're looking at it from a different angle, but I think you can get the gist. Um, and then, and I'll already point to this, there's this super ugly brick building here, but <laughs> that wasn't always the case. It was, I can't think of it, it was a hotel. Um, I cannot think of the name of it right now. But it was a really prominent, and it was actually like a beautiful building. I'm not sure why they raised it, but I'm sure, I mean, to go from a one, two, three, four, five, six story hotel to a two story, ugly rounded brick structure, I don't know. Do any of the original buildings exist around Rack? I went there for a brief time. So, and that was asked by Adam. I don't think any original buildings exist around Rack just because Agnes came through in 1972 and just wiped everything out um, around the waterfront there. What was there was railroad stuff. There was there was um, like a depot there and a couple outbuildings. Um, the orange car was down there. I will we will have a view of some of that when we get to maybe the next some of the next few arrows I'm going to show you. But um, I don't. I don't think anything remains down where Rack is. That was all had to be rebuilt, redeveloped after um, Hurricane Agnes. So yeah, sorry. But Rack is, I mean, it's nice down there now. You got Penske Beach, got our own beach. So might be better, frankly. Might actually be an improvement. Um, okay, what was I? Yeah, southeast corner, hotel building, now brick monstrosity. But I think, I think this besides that is pretty much untouched. All of the rest of these structures are still here. Now, wait a second, I don't know about that. I can't see the front of them, so I can't tell you for sure, but some of these don't look like they're not as tall down here. So just kidding. They must have raised these at some point, but I don't know that anybody alive today would remember what these looked like. And then the north east side is also very similar, but Obviously the crystal burnt down. So the stuff down here. Um, I think, I don't know, this doesn't, I guess that the crystal was in here, but this would have been well before the crystal. So I don't know what all these businesses are. All of this is gone too. So, and then we have Pomeroy's, the, department store which everybody loved everybody talks about Pomeroy's it was actually Pomeroy's dives and Stewart's uh, I was three guys who were in and then two of them died and only Pomeroy's was left so everybody alive today remembers it at Pom as Pomeroy's but when it actually began in the late 1800s it was um, Pomeroy's dives and Stewart what else can we look at here I mean Everything above 6th is basically gone. Um, all of this, all of the 600 block, 700 block, probably even the 800 block, that all got taken out in the redevelopment of the early 1970s. Yeah. So that's where the other Santander stuff is. Parking garages galore, the double tree, the arena. Um, and then obviously Pomeroy's was replaced by this 
it was for Meridian Bank. And then lots of reorganizations and co consolidations happened and it's been various banking infrastructure uh, buildings. So all of this has changed. All of these blocks are completely different than a hundred years ago, but uh, it's kind of cool to see, see how many buildings they shoved into each of these blocks. Now let's just like zoom in. Harold's Furniture, I've heard of that. If I stare at these long enough, I can kind of read them. I think this says line box close. This one looks like it says it's a home store. And I'm probably not going to be able to read too much further. You can enhance pretty good with these, but okay. So here's something cool. You're looking all the way out Penn street here. And, uh, you can just make out the tower of the old prison that used to be, uh, sit at city park all the way at the end of Penn street. That's where the prison used to be. Um, until they built the new one, probably not long after this. I think it was the twenties. So, and then you can see the two reservoirs in city park, which is where the water for the city came from. It's where everybody got their drinking and sewer water. And, um, let me see if I can find any other cool structures or K. Kolb's mother, mother's bread, the Pennsylvania trust co Klein, Klein something and company. So businesses of a hundred years ago, it's kind of interesting to just browse. Can't read whatever's on there. This is a cool building here at the one or two in from the south, or I'm sorry, the north east corner of fourth and Penn. I wish I knew why they knocked all these buildings down. I mean, I guess they just fall into disrepair. Yeah, this only goes to about the 300, not even the end of the 300 block. Oh, the Capitol Theater was here though. I don't think that's still there. No, that's definitely not there. Oh. Is this a Wrigley's gum ad? Sealed in something, something after every meal. Love it. I didn't know Wrigley's gum went back that far. All right. So this is Reading in 1924. I got to move on to the next one though. So this was 1931. Another J. Victor Dallin photograph from an airplane. Um, what are, which way are we looking here? Oh, it's kind of the same angle. So this is seven years later. And wow. Okay. Yeah. It's basically just a little different of an angle. So where are we? Let me, oh, holy cow. Look at this. So they raised all those buildings that were there in between 1924 and 1931 and made it into a parking lot. And you know what? I think they did, they did end up building something here and it was a grocery store. I think it was an Acme. I've seen, I've seen photos of it. So that's not even, that wasn't even original. And sometimes I make this point because I think it's interesting that everyone's like, oh, that's not the Penn Street. It's not the Penn Street that I grew up with anymore. And it's true, it's not. Um, but the Penn Street you grew up with wasn't necessarily the Penn Street that your parents and grandparents grew up with. You know, a lot of these buildings have changed over even before the heydays that people remember in the 50s and 60s now. So things are constantly transitioning and changing and it's in the nature of a city to develop. Uh, you gotta develop. Uh, nothing can stay the same. 
but but yeah that's fascinating it was a big old parking lot <laughs> in the 1930s um what else can we look out here you can see ooh, it's a little blurry but obviously the new federal bank or farmers bank building was constructed next to the colonial trust um what else we got here oh this is an interesting you can kind of see it i think that was this was the post office this kind of ornate structure with the i don't even know how to describe it i don't know what's but that was the post office and it's sitting where the post office now sits except the post office now takes up this entire block instead of half of it i guess um what else what else Ooh, wait wait i need to go back because i need to compare you can see now this is a colonial trust co company building uh, i just did a, a project on this and you can see right next to it the courthouse is under construction you you can see a bunch of cranes and um that that it checks out because the courthouse was built in 1931. So, but if we go back to this 1924 one, we can look at the old courthouse. I meant to show you that. There it is. So here's the Colonial Trust Co. building, and this was the original courthouse. I think it was built in like, I don't know. Ooh, that's a good question. It was built in the 1800s, early, maybe the 1820s, and they there's a good article that was written by a friend of mine about this but they they didn't have the amenities they needed for years and years and 30 years went by basically that they needed a new courthouse and couldn't figure out how or where to build it eventually they decided to tear down the one that was there and, and build it in its footprint which is the courthouse we have today um but i just thought it was funny that there's a picture of it there it is. It had Lady Liberty, or it had this statue that's on the top. It's a woman, I think, holding, I don't know. She's in the Burke's History Center's museum. So you can go check this out at the Burke's History Center. The actual statue on top is right when you walk in the door. So go check it out. It's pretty cool. That is the old courthouse. And let's go back to 1931. They're building... They're building the new courthouse. It doesn't look like it's very far along. Um, what else we got? What else we got? There's Trinity Lutheran. There's the YMCA. That all looks the same. That's all the same. Go back down here to Penn Square. This big old hotel's still here. Everything else looks pretty much, pretty much the same. One thing that I wanted to show you guys right in front of the Metropolitan Edison Company building is the what was the girls high school. It was actually the first uh, it was first the Reading High School before they abolished co-education in 1889. But then they split the boys and girls and the girls occupied this building, I think, until they re-established co-education when they built the current high school building castle on the hill so so for like 30 almost 40 years um boys and girls didn't go to school together they were under separate roofs and the girls were in that structure which was raised that is all gone everything i think just the metropolitan edison building is left on this block there the rest is parking so long gone I also love how, and you'll see this on the Palmores building too, on, on the roofs of buildings, they actually wrote the name of the city, I think in part so pilots could know what they were flying over when they were flying overhead. So let me, let me roll back over here, yeah. See, it's also on the Palmores building, Reading, PA, and I know I saw it in some other ones down on the industrial south side those buildings we'll see those um otherwise i don't i don't 
I think I'm just going to roll on to the next one. A bunch of these are from the 30s. So this one's also 1931. I think this is just, no, this is the same view. Let me go to something. Here's a little bit different. This is high altitude. Let me pull this in, make it full view. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, this is like south looking north. This is kind of cool because you can see all of the train yard here in the center of basically the center of town and just like how intricate everything was like all these trains can you even imagine what it took to manage that day by day and then i think outer station was oh right here yeah i think that was the station no wait Then where's the swing? Oh, there's the bridge. Yep, there's the swinging bridge. It went all the way over all, God, how many lanes is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, maybe more than 14, 14 lanes of tr trains. <laughs> Probably a little, little scary. Um, Just a whole lot of railroad stuff going on out here because that's that's what we did all right Bailey I will post links to where you can find these to look at yourself in the description of this video let me see can I actually I can post it in the live chat and then I will I will still put it in the description but so it's the Hagley Digital Archives and I think if you just search Reading PA I don't think you have to you gotta search a digital collections it will take you it will take you right here and here they are. And I only picked a few of them. There's tons to look at. Some of them are kind of more, like this one is a specific neighborhood. This is 13th Street and Amity Street. Um, yeah, have a blast because <laughs> these are so fun to look at. Um, okay, where was I? Oh, up here. So that's the same year. Let me see, let me see. That's where I was. Okay, here's a cool one. 1932. Yeah, it gives you a really good perspective of what was there. You know, you can see people walking around. You see the little cars, little 1930s cars driving over the Bingham and Street Bridge. Okay, here we go. So this right here is where queen city diner was now it's been vacant but that's this lot it looks like there was a house looks like there was a house there and i'm pretty sure this building it's like it looks like a little warehouse or something um that is still there so yeah no bypass no really crappy merge sections here no merging no bypass to merge on it was just railroad So basically the bypass took the place of the railway. Yep, this is where Queen City Diner was. Um, there's like an oxygen place in this building. And then the pool's back here. It looks like there was a car lot. Look at like all these old, <laughs> old timey cars. And there, I mean, traffic doesn't look, traffic doesn't look that bad. Any photos of Queen? Hold on, why can't I see that? Queen Anne District under construction. Queen Anne District, is that out by Center Park? Because I don't think, I mean, I don't have any aerial photos of it. Um, photos may exist. I do not have any 
any of them, unfortunately. Okay, so this is basically the south side. Uh, you're looking at the Bigman Street Bridge. B Canal Street would be in here, but Canal Street didn't exist. It was like railroad, dirt road. And you can see that like after you got off the bridge, you could like turn around and come back down to where like Canal, I guess Canal Street would be. Actually, what does this look like? Let me pull up. Google Earth is going to be my other helper. So this is where we're looking. Okay. So yeah. Let me sad by sad. This gets a little dicey because they don't, ugh, it doesn't let you like do anything but full screen it. So here's um, Queen City. Here's what was there before is the house. Here's this building right here. And then there's a, the fire departments right next to it. Um, honestly, it looks to me like they basically just used the railroad bridge as, I don't know, they, maybe they rebuilt it. Oh, thanks, Jessica. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so Bigman Street Bridge, you could go over. You could come down. Now you can't. You have to go. Um, whoa. Basically have to bear right. Go out to fifth. But uh, yeah. There was these huge tanks. I don't, Honestly, I don't even know what they. I wonder what they were full of. If anyone knows, feel free to drop that. Because again... Reading PA. Had to make sure people flying overhead knew they were knew they were here. Which actually just made me think of another thing that the Metropolitan Edison Company building had the big letters on top of it identifying it. But uh during was it World War Two? They took them down because like if If we would have been bombed, we didn't want to like basically <laughs> give them targets that they knew would, you know, that would be bad to uh, blow up med ed, I guess, you know. So, yeah, they did. They did take a lot of the, um, the lettering down just for added caution. Not that we ever, thank God, had fighting over here. So Zigzag says those tanks are for natural gas. OK, there we go. That is a lot of natural gas. I don't know about that. That seems dangerous. But I guess you got to store it somewhere. I don't know. So this was the industrial south side. You can see the edge of Reading Hardware over here, which is still there. It's just kind of like a big abandoned building. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? There's the Anchor Hotel. Anything else on the south side? Tons of stuff's not there anymore. But nothing's jumping out to me to like compare. What am I at here? All right, I'm at a half hour. Oh, this one was kind of cool. Whoops. So I did a story on the Lindbergh Viaduct a few weeks ago and they had this kind of cool aerial of the viaduct and this was in 19 when was this 1936 so this would have been not quite a decade after it was completed it still looks pretty new but i just found it interesting how how like the lack of i mean it's winter i guess you there's no leaves on the trees but it just seems really a lot less veg there's a lot less vegetation than there is now and there's like a track here i know this is pandora park but i, I never i never remember there being like a big old track i guess it's like a running track it kind of looks like just like a high school field right so let's compare that 
Let's jump over to the park. Wait, where am I? Over here. There. Yeah. Get myself adjusted. Yeah, there's a baseball field now, but you can actually check that out. You can actually see what to me looks like was the outline of it. I don't know. I don't think that structure is still here. Doesn't look like it. But before, like, the, before Pandora Park, Pandora Park was like a little bit of an amusement park. So everything that was there, I guess they they uh, got rid of by this point, which makes sense. Yeah, I think that I think the Carsonias and Pandoras were done by like the turn of the 20th century, around the 1900s. They were pretty much not popular anymore. The other cool thing you can see, check that out, Mineral Springs Hotel. You can just see the, the back end. I mean, you're looking at like the side back of it. And there were some buildings. Well, actually one of these was, oh, check this out. You can see the Gravity Railroad. You can kind of like make the tracks out because I know there was a platform here and that's where people got dropped off. Hey Warren, how's it going? Glad everybody's here. Glad to see everybody. Thanks for joining. We're looking at Mineral Springs Hotel. Um, and what I think is the remnants of the Gravity Railroad, which would have been long gone even by this point. But uh, kind of cool. There was more there then than there is now. Let's put it that way. And then these would be the houses up in Hessian. Uh, what was the Hessian camp, right? Hessian, um, shoot, what are they called? That neighborhood. So I think that's it. This is Allenbach Cemetery. I don't know if anyone's been past Allenbach Cemetery lately, but it looks absolutely awful. Um, I think they're having trouble maintaining it again. I heard that ran that story ran a few years ago. Uh, okay, I think I think I think that's everything to see in this one. This one is 1940 again, Penn Street. It looks like at this point, hey, they built the grocery store. Um, still a parking lot. That might have remained. And look at the snow on the rooftops. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, and finally, actually, that should have been in this one too. Yeah, new courthouse. The courthouse. That's like the landmark to look for, right? Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else downtown I want to look at. Ah, okay. So this building replaced that. That means that that cool hotel building was torn down. Is it here? Is it in 1932? Yep. Between 1932 and 1940 is when that... Was it called the Washington? I don't know. Don't quote me. I need to figure that out. I know it was a hotel. <laughs> um... Okay. In addition to aerials, which they have plenty of, not even just a Reading. Here's one of Shillington. Um, they also have some photos of buildings. Yoakum Brothers, Hotel Pen. <gasps> was that it? It was a Hotel Pen? Oh my God. 1900. I think so. 
Is it going to tell me what it is? Where it is? I'm pretty sure that was... No, that wasn't it. Or was it? Hmm. Well, this was 1900, so this is like way before. This was before they were... Uh, Jumping into planes to take to take uh, photographs. Hotel Pen. I don't know. That doesn't look like the same structure to me. No, it wasn't as tall. I don't know where the Hotel Pen was. It should say it doesn't. <laughs> it gives a seven. Wow specifications hmm let me go to the first I think I got all the oh here's a cool one 1931 this is the high school which was gosh it was new the high school was four years old when this photo was taken the gym was brand new. All of the ground behind it was uh, kind of just rugged mountain. I think they might have, this might have been quarry, a quarry before that. There you go. Go Knights. Um... So this would be the north, the northeast here, neighborhoods. My God, there's just like row upon row of homes. And then the reservoir, which I think is now the football field, if I'm, if I'm correct. But it was, it was once another reservoir to hold water for probably the people living in this area. And then, can we see the top? Oh my goodness, check this out. First of all, the fire tower is only under construction. And the hotel's still there. The hotel which sat next to the fire tower that burnt down, I wanna say, It burned down in the 70s. I can Google. Well, yeah, that makes sense. The fire tower was built in 1939, so this is 1940. I guess it was... They started it in... Wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Well, then that's not... That's the original... Now I'm confused. Now I'm very confused. This says it was 1931, but doesn't that look like the base of the fire tower? No, it's not though. It's not. Yeah, okay. So that must be, there was a tower there previous to the fire tower. It wasn't a fire tower. It was just like an observation. But it burnt down. Ironically, like everything else seems to have happened. So just kidding. This was not the fire tower. The fire tower wouldn't be around for another eight years. I guess this was what... Sorry guys, I wish I had all this knowledge <laughs> in my head, but I just, I can't. Yes, but what was Mount Penn's other fire tower? Oh my gosh, Hotel Tower Mount Penn. I know there was a story about this because I looked at it not too long ago. The tower and hotel, yeah, actually, Open. 
So this is what was there. The Tower and Hotel in Mount Penn. Gravity Railroad came up here. So obviously this was right after this burnt because now that looking at it, it does, like I get it. It's definitely, it's definitely that. But uh, it looks like it just burned to the ground maybe the night before this photo was taken. I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Um, pretty cool though. You don't see a whole lot of uh, perspectives like this. And then if we go down, oh, we can't. No, no pagoda. That's cut off. That's cut off. Um, the Tower Hotel, it was called, I guess. Makes sense. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. There's a high school. Maybe we can compare that. To what it currently looks like. Oh, yeah, I don't have anything better than uh, Earth for this. But it looks like they made a few additions. This is the original part that you see there. And then all this must be new. Oh wait, no. This is just the gym. They just kind of connected it to the Geigel, the Geigel complex. And there's the reservoir, which is now a football field. Honestly, it works. Cool. All right, what's next? Um, southeast corner looking towards the Lindbergh Viaduct. No, not gonna work. Internet's gonna break now. Reorient. Uh oh. Getting the spinning wheels of death. Okay, here we are. Whoa. Okay, this is just another view of the viaduct. Kind of a cool shot though, looking into Mount Penn. Mount Penn would be down here. Can't really see much. Try to find another one. Hello, everyone. The number keeps going up. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I just went back down. Hampton Heights, the Quarry Works, 1923, or 26, I'm sorry. Um, an orchard. Hmm. Well, we've looked at a lot of the good Reading ones. Maybe these also, so here's a fun, here's a fun fact. You can look up why missing. Shillington, I think West Lawn. I think, I think that's about, I think that's about it. Here's a good one. 1927, why missing. So down here in the bottom, we got the Reading Hospital back when it was only two wings. And there was literally nothing around it. This big, <laughs> this lake is called Wiser Lake. It is basically where the parking garage stands on. Uh, here we are. Yeah, it's basically where. Basically right there. And you can see a lot of these homes here were under construction, 1926. That's when, you know, Wymissing was developed in the 
early to, I'd say, 1900 to 1920s is probably when the majority of these houses went up. If you live in Wymissing, come check these out. You could probably find your house. Yeah, it is a lot of open space. And then we have like, you know, Berkshire Knitting Mills. Um, all these three buildings are still here. This one's obviously gone. And then in the back's gone. The only, the only part that is still here of this mill building has not yet been built in this, in this photograph. They at some point connected these two structures and that is the only piece that they kept when they redeveloped that in 2017. So, and then there's the narrow fabrics. Um, so this is the one with the clock that Reading, um, the Tower Health is in now. They covered up that beautiful clock face, which I'm still kind of bitter about. But um, hopefully it's still under there so that if they ever leave that building, they can just take that off. The one to the left of it was, I guess, raised at some point because I don't ever remember that structure being there. And then they built a narrow fabrics building, another narrow fabrics building to the right of the clock tower building because that is what is now um, uh, its apartments and what bistro, um, oh my god, bistro, what is it, 24? Yeah, bistro. No, what? Bistro. That's apparently not it. B2. B2 Bistro. Oh my gosh. Losing it. No, I don't think there's any of Sinking Spring. You can you can look. They might actually... Now oh, what the heck? I'll look for Sinking Spring. I, I Sinking Spring is my home area as well. So this over here was the West Reading Elementary School. It's long gone. Um, I wish there was a, there's another one with a better angle of it. But uh, some people alive today, I think went there before it was raised. I think it was raised in, I wanna say the 70s, 60s, yeah, I don't know, off the top of my head. But I think that's all there is, let's see, pretty much here. And look at like, uh, okay, over the bridge here to Berkshire Heights. Berkshire Heights was being developed. But <laughs> look at Spring Township beyond it. There's nothing. There's nothing out here. Out here would be like the mall somewhere over here and all the, the highway. And there's just like nothing but sprawling land. All right. I don't think they had Sinking Spring. West Lawn. Yeah. This one's kind of cool though. You can kind of see, kind of see down. Nah, you're not gonna be able to see Sinking Spring. So this is the end of Why Missing. Like, so the bypass is right here. This is even, what year is this? Hold up, 1932. Where is the Iron Bridge? There should be. Hmm. There should be a bridge right here. Hold up. Ha. It was built in 1926. Well. Am I missing something here? Nope, that's where it should be. Cause that's where it crosses over. Regardless, there wasn't the bypass. The bypass didn't show up until the 70s, this part of it. And um, it was just one way and you could cross over here into Why Missing, but it doesn't look like it was built yet, which is, blowing my mind because I'm pretty sure, unless it's further, no, it's not further down. Cause here are these, like when you get off the bypass and come right into why missing, it's these, um, they have a name. Can't think of them. Can't think of the name of those things, but. Uh, 
That would be... What? These guys. I think they're like apartments. Or... Looks like they're just built. Looks like they're brand new. And I'm pretty sure the iron bridge is supposed to be like right here. It's supposed to be like right up here where it crosses. I don't know. Now I'm confused. But uh, here's Grandview Boulevard and the Why Missing Hills. Let's see what's going on on Grandview. There's that big castly looking house. Um, this might be, I think that's the, the Taylor Swift house, right? <laughs> Is this Grandview? I'm like, which I'm pretty sure it's right here. I'm pretty sure that's the one. It looks like it's got next to the castle. Yeah. No, it's not next to the castle. It's next to the castle. Oh, yeah, it is. Yep. Pretty sure that's the one. Boom, boom. Yeah, the Iron Bridge is like a thing. I wrote... <laughs> Here's the Iron Bridge. Like, there it is, right? It makes sense. There's the billboard. Goes up and over. But, like, what's, what's going on here? Where is it? Like, there's the billboard, right? It couldn't have built, been built in 1926 if it's not in a shot of 1932. I'm going to have to figure that out. Cause that ain't, something's fishy here. But, um, is there anything else in West Lawn? This shot isn't great. There's, there's a better shot of West Lawn. <laughs> mm. Let's go back to Redding. Or maybe I should just do Burks. Will that bring up everything? My internet's super slow, I think, because I'm streaming. No. Now I'm getting stuff. Joanna Furnace. Hmm. Never looked at these. 1931? Probably looks pretty much the same, huh? That's pretty cool. pretty neat yeah but that's not a good search because that's gonna bring up everything actually I could just do it by aerials though yeah we just want the survey collection Dallin I feel like there's some we didn't look at though. Writing PA high altitude. I think we looked at this. Yeah, we looked at that. Oh man. It's been an hour, but you guys are still hanging. So I guess I'll keep going. What about Galen Hall in Warnersville or Sinking Spring Carpet Warehouse? It's funny you mentioned Sinking Spring. Where is the Sinking Spring Carpet Warehouse? I have these. I don't know if it's a carpet warehouse. If it's the building I'm thinking of. And I'll just go to it because why not? But I need to oof, get back into north, south, east, west here. There was this building right after the three-way split. 
I very briefly rode a bus to Sinky Elementary School when I was in, I guess, first grade. I don't know where the carpet warehouse is. But I remember there being a mural. I think there was a beer place back here and like a mural. I remember passing and seeing this mural back here, but it's long gone, I guess, because it's, it's painted white. <sighs> Bummer. Um, Reading Iron Company. Open that in a new tab. Glenview. Glenview. What is Glenview? I don't know that. Here's Shillington. That's kind of cool. Mm. So what are we looking at here? Okay, we're looking up Lancaster Avenue. This is Lancaster Avenue towards the city. And, um, oh my gosh. So this is Shillington High School. Oh, this is really pixelated. Why is this not very high quality? This is Shillington High School. Governor Mifflin High School would be built back here on, oh, you can just see the edge of the Alms House. This was the Alms House. All of this was owned by the Alms House. Um, they farmed this land. And when that closed in 1952, um, they redeveloped all this. There's like the Shillington Shopping Common Shopping Center. There's like the giant and the farmer's markets over there now. And then I guess this would be Kenhurst over here. And that's crazy. There's just like nothing. Even this, all this development. I mean, there's some development here, but this is all developed now. And there's just nothing. Yeah, that's a super pixelated one, though. I don't know why that one's not very good quality. Reading Iron Company. So this is this is the Northwest, I think. Yeah, because this is downtown. There's the Penn Street Bridge. Blip, there's Penn Square down there. There's the train depot. So this is the, on the Schuylkill River. There's nothing there now. Was it like, on Google it says it's like Dana Park or something. Was Dana there? Dana Memorial Park, whatever that means. So all this industry that once sat right, I guess this is the railroad bridge that goes over this, if you're driving down the Schuylkill now. Huh. Interesting. Whoa. What does that say? Oli, Oli Street Mills, Reading Iron Company. That's what the, that's what the photo's of. So they must've turned around and sold this photo, tried to sell this photo to Iron, the Reading Iron Company. Man, it was so dirty. Like, look at the air. <laughs> look at the air. Ugh. Hmm. Interesting. Berkshire Country Club. I pulled these out last time when we were talking about the silo. So you've already seen some of those. Um, we're just, we're so lucky this guy, <laughs> first of all, decided to settle here in this region and take photos like this. I'm sure this isn't something that every area has. All right, Reading Hospital. This one's kind of cool. You want to see what the Reading Hospital looked like in, oops, 1931. So it was pretty new. Absolutely nothing around it. It had the two wings. And then one of these was a nurse's building. I'm not 100% sure which one. How's the nurses? Um, Denise, I don't have anything for Carsonia Park. 
in these aerials because this would have been well after well I mean at least like the amusement park era there might be some over that way of Mount Penn I'm not sure so oh also this is one I used when I put together the Palmer's building piece because there's Palmer's the building one and there's building two which is the one that exploded and the building in front of it. Pretty sure I use this exact screenshot. Oh, the other thing I found when I was looking at this is there where where the uh, Penview used to be, the Penview Motel, which was uh, quite the establishment, used to be this like Victorian mansion. Like, look at this house. And there's horses just like chilling in the side yard in in the middle of West Reading, between Redding, Reading and West Reading, which just kind of blew my mind. Like whose house was that? And why would they take that down to be, build the Penview? Crazy. Um, this is kind of cool. You can see before the bypass, there's better, there's definitely better pictures of this area, um, but all of the there was something like 19 it was more than 19 there was like a bunch of buildings they had to tear all this out to put the cloverleaf in in the uh in the 60s for the bypass it looks like a dodge does that say dodge like the car maybe did dodge exist yeah Dodge was founded in 1900, so very possible that they were advertising in 1931. Atlantic, crazy. There's the medical arts building. You see a little bit into town, but this is mostly out here. Okay, okay, we were, sorry, we were on the Reading Hospital. I got sidetracked. There is another good picture of the West Reading Elementary School right behind West Reading High School. Now, the West Reading School, it was an elementary school, I think it might be intermediate now, is on this block right behind the old high school. And um, there's just nothing, just nothing around. Look at this landscaping. You could like go for long walks around the grounds of the museum, or I'm sorry, of the, the hotel. The museum's down here. You can see the very, the roof of the museum. So they dammed the museum, the Why Missing Creek by the museum here, as you can see, and it used to be a big pond where, oh my gosh, you can actually see a swan. Can you even believe that? People always talk about the swans that used to be in the, was it called, called the reflection pond or something? I'm not sure, it had a name. Look at that, 1931, there's a swan chilling in the pond. That's insane. It looks like, I mean, this still exists. Obviously they added the atrium since, but, um. You could like pull your car right up and go down to the pond. And the creek just looks, it just looks wider, doesn't it? I guess not, maybe. Cause I think this bridge, it's probably not the same bridge, but there is a bridge. No wait, the bridge is, is it a little different of a location maybe? Cause I don't think it comes out right at the edge. It might, I don't know. Might as well look. Go all the way over. Oh, that's here. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, it does. It does, that's probably the same. Yep. And we've still got this, uh, little gardens here hello Christopher what's going on we are looking at aerials of 
It was going to be just Redding, but now we've we've kind of moved outward to Y Missing and West Redding. Um, and then I do, you can't really see it at this angle, but to the west of the hospital was a farm. I mean, you can see the barn. All of what is the kind of, it's, this is all developed, I guess, houses, but, uh, it was farmland like everything else. Reading Fair, Muhlenberg Township in 1925. Now that is pretty sweet. 1915, that's when uh, they bought this piece of land out in Muhlenberg Township and established the fair there. But this is the entire ground. Look at that. It's looking south. So Fifth Street would... <laughs> This street isn't really, I guess it's here. I guess it's, it's kind of hard to tell. I know this was a wander field. I think it was an airfield and check that out. There's a plane. I think it's a plane. I don't know. It's kind of a pixelated blob that resembles a plane. And this is um, Hyde Park School. I think that the building's still there. I think it's like a dentist or some sort of, it's offices. But like Hyde Park isn't really there. There's some houses here, but my gosh. No Kmart, no vacant Kmart. There doesn't seem to be anything on the track at the moment, but there's definitely people there's definitely, I think those are people. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. Those might just be spots on the photo. No, there's definitely people. Look at all these cars lined up. Tents. These big buildings. So this is where the mall sat. And now there's... Not really much of that left. Boscovs would be maybe right back here. I don't know. It sat right. It sits right behind where the fairgrounds was. But it was there. Boscovs was built well before the fairgrounds went away. Hey, thanks, Ryan. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys and your kind words, seriously. I'm glad that you love my videos. I love making them. I'm just glad people like watching them. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna wrap this up soon. It's been over an hour, oh my gosh. But I'm glad, hopefully you guys are having a good time. I'm having fun looking at, at these. I always have fun looking at these. I figured, hey, why not look at them together and talk about it? I think that's about it. I mean, there's always more to look at, but here's another Reading Fair one. 1920, no wait, that's the one we were just looking at. What am I doing? Whoops. Okay, going down, go to three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Speaking of Carsonia, a view of Riften towards Neversink Mountain, Mount Penn. So here we go. Let's see, let's see. Oh, wait. Okay. This is Mount Penn, right? Yeah because there's Carsonia. I think this is the lake right here. I think this is, so this would have been after the park again. They're not gonna have any, 
There's not going to be any aerial photographs of, I think, Carsonia Park, depending on when it closed. Hi, cat. Carsonia Park operated from 1896 to 1950, so I am wrong, very wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think it cuts off here too soon. I think the park, the park must be to the right, <laughs> unfortunately. Isn't that the way it goes? But this is all of Mount Penn. Again, not the greatest quality when you really zoom in. Some of these are like crisp, and then some of them not so much. Ah, there's the pagoda. <laughs> there's the pagoda. So this must be, Stokesay should be back here, right? I don't know if you can see it through the woods, but it should be up here somewhere. That might be it. I don't know. Can't really tell. This picture's in bad shape. Wasn't one of the better scans. That's crazy. And then it bends all the way around to Rifton. So this is, yeah, this is the other side of the mountain. Huh. Reading, Pennsylvania. That's a different angle. Okay, so this is just looking again east. This is Penn Street. This is Penn Square. Old courthouse again, 1930. This was like right before they tore it down. So this one is cool though. Oh, check it out. Wieners, Seventh and Penn Wieners. It was a clothing store. City Park. There's no leaves on the trees, which is cool because you can see the prison a little bit better. I started this video talking about Berks County Prison and City Park. Might as well wrap it up that way too. So yeah, this big structure was the prison. I'm pretty sure the this house that sits behind it is still there. I'm pretty sure. I think they use it as like storage for city park stuff. Oh, yep. Check this out. Can I go down here? Is there street view? Yes. <laughs> there you go. You saw it here first. And hats. It's the same building, no doubt. So, so the prison basically sat where this parking lot is. Oh my gosh, Shreveview hates me. Behind the basketball courts, this was boom. Prison walls, like they were no joke. This thing looked like a fortified castle. Oh, and I'll show you guys a picture of it just so you have an idea. Oh my God, I can't type. not great none of these pictures are great but it is what it is yep it's a big old castle looking thing 
Wasn't that house once the Reading Police Academy barracks? I don't know. I have no clue. Um, I think I read that they were using it. It was just kind of a store being used for storage right now. Maybe it was. I don't know. It's quite possible. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to hang out for another minute. If you have any last second questions, see if I can find anything cool. There's the high school again. Whitner's, any other cool billboards? Hey, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. This has been fun. Pennsylvania Trust Company. What does that say? All right. Well, again, I appreciate you guys coming out. We'll do this again in a few weeks. I'll find something else to, cool to look at and show you guys. And uh, we'll do it again. So until then, have a great rest of the week and weekend.